Oh, I'm, I'm shocked, man. I, I'm really shocked because um, I really thought the NFL, I thought they had other plans, if you get what I'm saying. Bengals shut all of that down. They shut all of that down. And, like, this team, you got to you gotta get respect to the team, man. Straight up, you got to get respect to the Cincinnati Bengals, man. Because, literally, they went... Went to the Super Bowl last their first full season with their number one overall pick at quarterback Joe Burrow. They their first full season with him. They go to the Super Bowl with him. Yeah, they losing the Super Bowl. And everybody's like, all right, Super Bowl hangover. They ain't going back. Uh yeah, and the, the offensive line. So they revamped the offensive line. They continue to add pieces, especially on defense. And they they they, they just got a few pieces here and they weren't missing much. But they added a few guys here and there course had the draft and whatnot and 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 now literally a year later a year later after having been in the Super Bowl last year they're in the position to go into it again and to think about it too they're going against the Chiefs the Bengals have had the Chiefs number they've had the Chiefs numbers for the for a while now and it's like Again, I know some of y'all probably ain't going to want to hear this, but the Bengals have, like, they beat all the big dogs of the AFC. They beat all of them. And the way that they play, you can tell, like, because everything starts with coaching, good or bad. Everything starts with coaching. The way that they play, they do not play scared, man. They don't play scared. They don't play timid. They don't play, oh, well, we'll play keep away or no, we'll, we'll conserve conserve time. No, they move the, on offense. They move the ball downfield. They move it downfield. Like the, 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 first, the first drive, it was like, I know the first two drives, those first two touchdown drives, the one with Jamar Chase where he broke or he got open, then he broke the two defenders, and then the route with Hayden Hurst. Oof, the one with that, that, that route was nasty. The way they set that up. Who's been who been with the offensive coordinator? I might have to have a little talk with him, see if he's looking for a job. But anyway, um, I think it was Chase, because it was on the right side of the field where Chase, he ran like maybe like a little five-yard comeback, and the defense was like focused on him. Meanwhile, Hayden Hurst just kept going. The, all the defense was focused on Chase, Hayden Hurst wide open. Wide open. So they obviously they get Chase involved. And that's another thing they do. And, and I appreciate it because I think Tony Romo talked about it during the broadcast. He talked about how with their weapons. With obviously Jamar Chase, obviously with T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd, Hayden Hurst, Joe Mixon, with all the weapons that they got, they get them involved early on in games. Obviously, every not every single game, but a lot of times they get their weapons involved early on, early and often, and they do it so much. And when you do that, that makes it harder for people to defend you because your offense is so diverse. But then the defense, the defense be making plays too. The defense be making plays too. I, I was just talking to one of my guys, and I was telling, I was looking at the score. I'm like, man, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. This is crazy. And he was like, well, I'm not really shocked because the the Bills almost lost to the uh the Dolphins last week. I'm like, ah, uh, yeah, but I mean, you could have said the same thing about the Bengals too, because the Ravens had them in a good position, but they still pulled it out. Um, and those were division games, and they were against both against third string quarterbacks well no second string quarterbacks for the Ravens because it was Tyler Huntley but then third string quarterback for the Dolphins because it was Skylar Thompson because obviously with Tua out and then Teddy Bridgewater out they were down to their third string um but it's a division game so it, it, it should have been expected that it would be close but this game like 27 10 I, I boy if you would ask me I, I would have told you the Bills are winning I, I've been saying that the Bills going to the Super Bowl I've been saying I said the Bills going and the Bills are winning it all and boy was I wrong completely wrong I'm shocked but again I, I gotta give respect to the Bengals and one, one last thing before I get out of here when I was talking about how they don't play scared I said everything starts with coaching it starts there um, my guy JT he would always say uh, he always says the body follows the mind and the mind there is Zach Taylor he's not scared the Bengals they, they don't play scared on offense defense they don't coach scared none of that they, they're not a scary team and again, like I said, they, they beat all the big dogs in the AFC. Now they're going against the, the big dog in the AFC, the one who's been in the AFC championship for like the past, it seems like the past 20 years, but I know it's only been like four or five, but I mean, only saying that only four or five, like that's still a lot. But um, now they're going against the, the, the Chiefs in the AFC championship again. So they ain't got nothing to be scared of. I mean, it's still going to be a good game. 
Because the Chiefs, they're like, that's still the Chiefs. Like, <laughs> regardless who you are, that's still the Chiefs. But, like, man. So, shout out to them, man. Congrats to the Bengals. Congrats on their success. Like, they, they got something serious over there. They really do. Have you want to slice it up? Have you want to talk about it? Have you want to call it? It's something serious and you got no choice but to respect it no matter who you're a fan of, man. So we'll see how this thing goes next week. Uh, AFC Championship, Bengals and Chiefs, the rematch. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And we out.